Can you hear it? By now, I am sure. Most of you know just how broken Verena is. And aside from heavy hitters like Ji Yan and Calcero, she is likely the most sought after character in the game. In today's video, let's go over her kit to figure out why she's so broken and ultimately how to build and get the best out of your Verena. Verena is a Spectro Rectifier user who uses stacks of photosynthesis energy to aid her party in combat. Her basic attack has five sequences and will generate one stack of photosynthesis after each full rotation. While airborne, casting her basic attack will consume one stack of photosynthesis to recover concerto energy and HP for all allies. Her heavy attack allows her to quickly advance forward, dealing spectro damage to the locked on target. While in possession of photosynthesis stacks, the heavy attack will consume one stack to recover concerto energy and HP for all allies. Her dodge counter, turns her basic attacks into a three-string combo and will generate one stack of photosynthesis per rotation. Her resonance skill, Botany Experiment, summons a field of foliage that sends low-tier enemies airborne and grants one stack of photosynthesis energy on hit. Her resonance liberation, Arboreal Flourish, deals light spectro damage to the surrounding target, inflicting them with a photosynthesis mark, and restores HP for all of her allies whenever a teammate attacks an enemy under the effect of the photosynthesis mark. Verena will launch a coordinated attack and restore HP to the active teammate. This effect stays active for 12 seconds and can be triggered while Verena is off field. Verena's Fort Circuit, Starflower Blooms, allows her to gain one stack of photosynthesis energy whenever she takes the following action. Use a full rotation of her basic attack, hits a target with her resonance skill or her intro skill, Verena's passive skill, Grace of Life, will prevent a party member from getting sent to the Shadow Realm by an incoming one tap and provide them with a shield for 10 seconds after the fatal blow is dealt. This ability can only be activated once every 10 minutes, while Gift of Nature will allow her to increase the attack of all teammates by 20% for 20 seconds whenever she casts the following attacks while in possession of stacks of photosynthesis. Heavy attack, mid-air attack, her Resonance Liberation, or her Outro Skill. Her Intro Skill Verdant Growth allows her to take the field airborne and deal Spectro damage to the locked-on target. All of her healing, and the shield provided by her passive Grace of Life, scales off her attack stat, while the Outro Skill Blossom restores HP for the next character who takes the field for six seconds. In addition, all teammates gain a 15% all-type damage deepen for 30 seconds. For skill priority, focus on Fort Circuit. Resonance Liberation, Resonance Skill, Basic Attack, and lastly, the Intro Skill. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of her kit. So here is our game plan. As a Verena player, you only have four things to keep in mind. One, make sure she's the first to trigger her buffs. This is because her buffs have some of the longest uptime in the game allowing other buffers to go after her and still leave plenty of time for your DPS to do his or her thing. Two, make sure you consume at least one stack of photosynthesis before she leaves the field. This will activate her gift of nature skill, increasing the team's attack by 20% for 20 seconds. Three, make sure she only leaves the field via her outro skill. This will further increase the team's damage by increasing their all type damage deepened by 15% for 30 seconds as well as giving them six seconds of health regeneration. With Verena as your starter, begin the battle with your resonance skill, followed by a full rotation of your basic attack. This will grant you two stacks of photosynthesis. From here, jump and use basic attack once, followed by a heavy attack. This will consume both stacks and launch you towards the enemy. On hit, Use your three-string basic into your echo ability, into your intro skill. The character you swap her out for can be another buffer or a sub DPS. You should be able to get your rotation done within 20 seconds after Verena leaves the field. If you're just a Verena enjoyer, you can do skill into heavy attack on hit. Use your three-string combo into heavy and just loop that until you run out of stamina. Some would ask why, but I say, why not?
I won't linger too long on her resonance chains, but I'll show on screen briefly the noteworthy ones, which are RC2, RC4, and RC6. For weapons, Jinjo Keeper is an offensive weapon, but is very good for Verena. It has very high attack and will further boost attack and HP when her intro skill is triggered, give her a beefier shield from her passive and stronger heals from her forte. This weapon can be obtained for free from your Ranger supply box, assuming you haven't used it already. Another solid choice is the Variation. This one does have an energy recharge substat, making getting her liberation up a lot easier, as well as being able to battery her concerto meter, ensuring the outro skill is ready in a timely manner. The Craftable Rectifier 25 is a slightly less potent variation, but it's craftable so we can hardly complain. If none of those are an option for you, the three-star rectifier of Voyager is pretty much the budget variation, so slap it on as a placeholder for now. When it comes to Sonata effects, we want the five-piece rejuvenating glow set with the Bellborn Geo Shalom as our main echo. Two-piece will provide a 10% healing bonus and the full set will increase the attack of all party members by 15% when wearer activates their outro skill for 30 seconds. The Geochalone will provide Bellborn Shield that lasts for 15 seconds. While active, the Bellborn Shield provides a 50% damage reduction and a 10% damage boost to the on-field resonator for 30 seconds. The effect disappears after the current character is hit three times. Alternatively, Moonlit Clouds can be a good set, but because it's a single target buff, it would likely mess up your rotations if you're using another single target buffer in your team. If you don't have a full rejuvenating glow set, you can use it, or a two-piece combo as a placeholder. For teammates, you can use Verena with literally anyone. In fact, my current Verena team consists of just her, Hot NPC, and Rattlesnake Jake. In our rotation, Verena goes first since her buffs and those from the rejuvenating glow set have a 20 to 30 second duration. Next, we use our hot NPC because her buff is a single target boost for the next character to take the field and only has a 15 second duration. Lastly, our DPS. Rattlesnake Jake takes the field until his DPS window ends. From here, loop back to Verena and repeat the cycle. And that concludes our Verena guide. I hope you guys found this video useful. By popular demand, our next video will be for Sanhua. And so, until we meet again, friends. Can you hear it? Shh. That's the sound of sprouting.